Yes, the Pearsons. Some have hailed them as the new Jacksons. Five Star are the 80s for me. Five Star? <laughs> they were one of the best groups of all time. I loved Five Star. We thought they were the Jacksons, didn't we? The English Jacksons, and they say a word. It's just tricky. There's an urgency needing me. I can't take it any longer. No, I can't wait. Can't wait another minute. The pink eyeshadow, the big black eyeliner, the bleached bleached hair to the point where it was crisping and falling away the suits with the shoulder pads with the five star emblem they were so cool hi everyone i'm dora from five star i'm lorraine i'm magnificent doris i'm doris i'm stedman growing up in romford three sisters my brother myself mum and dad um just doing the ordinary stuff that, that kids do that's it really just growing up as ordinary kids. Right at the beginning, my dad brought a demo home that we loved called Problematic. It all began with one demo I've got called Problematic. We sang it, the three girls sang it and put it on tape. And my dad really didn't know that we could all sing until he heard the tape. I couldn't believe my ears when, when I hear this three of them singing. That's when my dad came in and said, well, if they're serious about it, I'll manage them. So Pepper Mill at one, want them to be on the show. Five star, they didn't even have a recording contract when they came here. Here they are joining us today for our final program and another look at the Pebble Mill building. Can't wait. Can't wait another minute. We kept rehearsing and Daddy says, you know, why don't we um, get together and do a dance routine? We didn't plan anything, it just happened. It all came together, the name, the costumes, the dance routines, and the singing. There's an urgency. And um, the report that we got from Pepper Mel that um, the switchboard was completely jammed. And I says, there we go. I can't wait. I can't wait. Another minute. Another minute. No, no, no. I remember the album came out at the same time as, as Slippery When Wet by Bon Jovi. And um, they were the two, the two camps at school were buying either Five Star uh, Girls, Bon Jovi Boys. Tonight, Stedman, Doris, Lorraine, Denise and Delroy are singing their latest, System Addict. System Addict. System Addict was a craft work of the 80s. It was a unique fusion of sort of break beats and computer music and Motown. Systematic. That heralded the computer age. Take a look at me. What a machine. I ended up being the lead singer. Steph did most of the designing. Doris would teach us the routines, and Lorraine was the main spokesperson for the group. Del just <laughs> did his part. Delroy was my wife. I really liked him. They were possibly the kings of dance routines. Good dance routines, you know, nice and symmetrical. They put their uh, arms across the groin and then back out on the star formation. They were power dressers. And the guys used to do it as well. Stedman and the other one, big shoulders. Stedman, or Sted, he'd been to fashion school for four months, which meant that he earned the role as uh, clothes designer. The hardest thing about designing for five, so I had to be able to design it where it was somewhat feminine, but also masculine. You imagine Stedman working late into the night with his plans for new footwear for Five Star. It's like, Doris will dance in the red shoes tonight. It's like, who are you talking to, Stedman? I don't know. Anthea! <laughs> there she goes. Oh. Are those in the 
It's the best you'll ever see after the giant. Yes. Well, the break, this is Five Star. It's like a dream come true, isn't it? As soon as they got a bit of money together, their first album sold 15 million. Then they moved over to a country pile in Berkshire, which, according to whoever you believe, cost between two and a half and five million. Buying the mansion is always a... It's always the wrong thing. Hello! Nice to see you! Hello! Hiya! Hello! How's it going? Hiya! Wow, this looks fantastic! I went to Five Star's house and it was all out of a catalogue. This is a great room. Do you have parties in here? They had those great video boxes, the ones that are done up like classic novels, sort of white fake leather. But they had this beautiful butterfly bookmark. And I think it's really weird, they had a bookmark in the video cover, so you'd never know it was a video. Wow! Out of my dreams, can right. you just put the record right? Who owns which car? Dad told me, go and take your driving test and I'll buy you a car. And I said, okay. <laughs> I went and booked my test. And then he took me down to the uh, Lamborghini dealership. And he says, which car do you want? I said, Daddy, that one. It was like, it's the Lamborghini Countach, black with champagne interior. The black Lamborghini at the end belongs to Denise, as you can see, Denise hey. getting <laughs> This Mercedes Sports belongs to Doris, which she can't get open at the moment. She's very embarrassed. I had a Ferrari, a red Ferrari, 328. It was beautiful. But I washed it more than I drove it. The red Ferrari belongs to Lorraine. Actually, I didn't buy a flash car. I really didn't. The red Mercedes belongs to Stead. The ultimate car for me was the Audi Quattro 1986. That was my pride and joy. And what about this one here, this whacking great thing? This thing is a family car. It's amazing. And what did it feel like when you had the first hit? That's Wait. a nice question. <laughs> Sadly, Five Star couldn't please all of the people all of the time. I felt really sorry for Sarah Green. She was interviewing us on, I think, a, a Saturday morning program. Okay, let's go back to the phones. Line uh -huh. two. A young chap had actually called in to ask us a question. Who's on line two? It's Elliot from Langley. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, Elliot. Elliot and the dog. But he just started swearing. Okay, Elliot, what's your question? I'd like to ask five star where they're so fucking crap, they're fucking... And he evidently blinded on the line. We're looking at each other thinking, did we hear what we just heard? The funny thing is, is we found it very funny. Thanks very much, Elliot. Nice Bye. to hear from you. I'm sure yeah, Tommy would have made a lot more sense. Let's move on to line three. Have you got a sensible question? We start off with the number eight record this week. Here's five star. Ladies and gentlemen, five star. Here they are in the flesh, five star. It's five star. Five star. Five star. Five star. We were overexposed. I mean, I'll be the first to admit it, because I remember when it was said in our family, yeah, we are everywhere. You know, if we weren't on an award show, we were on a magazine or on a TV show, or in Looking magazine on a cartoon strip, we were everywhere. Never mind the mansion and paying five million or whatever for that. They also paid an additional two and a half million to have this incredibly high-tech studio installed. Recording studios in the basement, that's another dreadfully 80s thing, isn't it? You know, you just get yourself a big pit and just throw all your money in it. Do not build studios in your house. It's a kiss of death, right? Bankruptcy was there from a studio that we built on the house. But that's not the reason why we moved from England. We couldn't walk down the street. We were followed when we went shopping. But people want to believe, oh, Five Star were thrown out of their house. They want to believe Five Star made so much money and they lost it all. They want to believe the rubbish stuff. Five Star's brief stay in the Hall of Fame came to an end when they moved to Los Angeles. You're my light and shiny some of us got married, some of us got children. Just live a normal life, because if we didn't do that, I don't think I'd be here talking to you now. I'd probably be in an institution somewhere. <laughs> it's nice to come back to reality. Rain or shine, goodbye. That was the saddest day of my teenage life, when the five star were no more. See, it's falling.